So hi everyone. Uh, welcome to this webinar. Uh, my name is Anandana Madhusudanan, and I work uh, with the job dispatcher team here at the EBI. So this uh, webinar gives you an introduction to job dispatcher service and how you can leverage various uh, tools in job dispatcher. <clears throat> we won't be going to the details of any uh, tool or algorithmic part in this webinar, but we will show you how you can access uh, these tools programmatically. So I am not so sure how many of you have already uh, heard about or are familiar with uh, Job Dispatcher Service. Uh, you might be uh, familiar with these tool names. Uh, so we, Job Dispatcher team, uh, provide <clears throat> uh, various uh, tools uh, for uh, protein and nucleotide sequence analysis. Uh, we currently have uh, more than 50 sequence analysis tools. Uh, some are uh, developed and maintained uh, at the EBI and some are external to EBI, right? like tools like NCBI, BLAST, Cluster Omega, etc. Uh, this year, we have add, added a new tool uh, called NHAMR, uh, which is a similarity search tool where you can uh, search for your uh, DNA sequence against uh, EBI's uh, sequence databases. <clears throat> we provide both web interface as well as a programmatic interface. I will show you in a minute how you can access our tools uh, in both the cases. Uh, so these tools are not only used by external users like you, we also have uh, users within EBI uh, like um, other services, uh, service teams like uh, Uniprot, Ensemble, these uh, teams use our uh, Blast. Uh, Uniprot uses uh, our cluster omega as uh, their uh, align tool for multiple sequence alignment. <clears throat> so this year early, we have uh, launched our uh, new website, uh, which you can access from this URL, www.ebi.ac.uk slash jdispatcher. So this is how the <clears throat> homepage looks like. If you scroll down, you can actually see different uh, tool categories um, and there are um, tool names also available so it's it's easy for you to navigate through different uh, tool sections and if you are interested in uh, any particular tool uh, category you can go directly to that uh, page <clears throat> this is an example of a pairwise sequence alignment uh, tool uh, page so it has a bit more uh, detailed information about uh, what it is and what are the tools and uh, what it does, etc. So we encourage our users to go through this uh, tool category page uh, before you start any analysis. So it will give you a bit more idea about which tool you can use for your analysis. As you can see, um, here are tools uh, for global and local alignment. Um, so if you are interested in uh, in uh, the entire sequence length and <clears throat> suppose if you want to uh, compare a uh, homologous sequence uh, protein or nucleotide sequence uh, between say a human or mouse uh, you perform an end-to-end -end alignment in that case uh, you can go for a global alignment <clears throat> whereas if you're interested uh, in a particular regions uh, with higher similarity. So for example, you wanted to see the conserved patterns or motifs. Uh, in that case, uh, you will be uh, using uh, local alignment tools. Again, uh, uh, we have a particular uh, file size limit for uh, every tool. So before using uh, any tool, like make sure that your file size is within that limit. <clears throat> in some cases, um, um, you know, it's better to use uh, other tools. So, for example, here, in um, if you have like a very lengthy sequences or large sequences, it's better to go for embossed structure for global alignment than uh, embossed needle uh, because sometimes embossed needle may run out of memory and uh, you won't uh, get the results back. Uh, same with uh, emboss water. Uh, if your sequence is uh, very large, you can go for emboss matcher than emboss water. Uh, <clears throat> these are the tool categories that we have. Uh, we have sequence format conversion tools like um, Air Secret, uh, MView, etc., and uh, functional analysis tools uh, like 
<clears throat> into proscan where we provide uh, the uh, back end uh, the web service uh, we don't have the um, uh, web interface it is uh, it, it, it it's uh, provided by the interpros uh, interprotein uh, we also have got uh, pairwise alignment multiple sequence alignment uh, phylogeny rna sequence analysis tools uh, and so on so if you are interested in a particular category you can uh, add that uh, cat tool category at the uh, end of this base url so suppose if it's a sequence similarity search you can add a sss at the end okay so the main uh, benefits of uh, using a job dispatcher service is that uh, uh, <clears throat> some tools are uh, doesn't have any uh, website or you know web interface officially so for example for cluster omega and uh, uh, muscle uh, for multiple sequence alignment this tool doesn't have any uh, interface uh, where you can uh, run it you may need to download the tool and uh, uh, install the uh, dependencies so in this case uh, we have everything installed in our uh, environment in our server so you don't need to worry about anything you don't need to write any uh, unix commands or anything you can directly come to our website and uh, start uh, 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 providing the input and change the parameter and run the tool uh, smoothly another advantage is uh, <clears throat> uh, with our sequence uh, similarity search tool you can search against uh, databases uh, that are there in ebi if you are uh, using ncbi tool you will be uh, searching against databases uh, provided from ncbi whereas we have like ebi databases so if you are do going for a local installation you may need to um, set up the databases also and you may also need to keep the data up to date uh, in this case we will be doing uh, those part and you don't need to worry about the tool version and everything so we will take care of that uh, we also have <clears throat> uh, a few workflows uh, within our tools a few of our tools say for example if you want to find the conserved region uh, from a set of sequences that you got uh, as a result of your um, sequence similarity search so for example from ncba blast uh, result you wanted to run a uh, multiple sequence alignment we already got uh, workflows available uh, from there and if you want to perform a phylogenetic analysis there is another workflow from the multiple sequence alignment result page so you can uh, work on it <clears throat> uh another one uh, we provide programmatic access uh, in addition to the web interface so i will talk about that uh, in a while so <clears throat> this is a, a typical home page uh, for a tool job dispatcher tool looks like uh, it's, this is uh, an input form for embossed needle so most of the tools template uh, looks the same so you can see a de description about the tool and um, you can select the type of the sequence whether it's protein or dna once you select it this parameter will also change accordingly so make sure that you provide the correct uh, sequence type and then you can provide your input here since it's a pairwise alignment it is expecting two sequences uh, you can also uh, use the file upload option uh, if you are not sure about what format you need to provide the sequences there are example input also available if you click that it will go to our documentation page and list a few examples there uh, you can uh, click on more options to see the parameters and uh, <clears throat> if you um, you know if you are not sure what the parameter means you can mouse over this and there will be an information icon which gives you a um, idea about what it is uh, you can provide a job title if you want uh, and before submitting uh, we do a parameter validation from our site suppose if you are trying to input uh, two sequences in this text box uh, box uh, we will warn you that uh, you should have only one sequence in this because it's a pairwise alignment similarly for mixing and matching the parameters also we have like a few uh, uh, highlights uh, 
here in this case, you can see that user is trying to provide a word size 15 uh, for the tblast n, which is uh, not a sensible input. So in that case, we want to provide a lesser input, I mean, uh, a value for the word size. Um, uh, another example is like when you have like in terms of file size, if you are trying to provide a bigger file uh, size, uh, say for example, uh, for cluster omega, it's 4 MB. If you are trying to upload a file with bigger than that, we will warn you <clears throat> and you will not be able to submit uh, that job. Uh, in that case, you may need to uh, you know install uh, the actual cluster omega uh, in your uh, local environment. So once you submit the job, uh, you will be getting a window like this. Uh, so this job is submitted and you will be getting a job ID. And uh, there are different status. Once you submit it, it will be either running or will be queued. So the status queued means um, the analysis has not yet started. Uh, our clusters are busy, so it will be in running in a while. So once it started, it actually started, once it's running, it's actually started the analysis and uh, you will be getting the results once it's finished. And uh, if you are trying to access a job, which is uh, uh, over seven days, uh, you will be getting a job not found or job uh, not available error message because we will be storing these results uh, in our server only for seven days, maximum of uh, seven days. Uh, so if you want these results uh, later, uh, please make sure that you have downloaded it. So once your job is finished, you can uh, click on the view results uh, and the results will be displayed uh, or else you can close this window. So you will be staying at the same um, tools uh, home page. Uh, if you click on your jobs, it will... Um, take you to the job dispatcher uh, home page and from here you can see the recently submitted jobs uh, so here you can see the jobs uh, uh, that i have submitted here and uh, the status of the job whether it's finished or if it's an error it, it will be like a into mark and uh, then it has update I mean, submitted and all uh, you can delete also if you don't want uh, but even if you delete it from this uh, uh, you can uh, again uh, access it because we store it uh, for seven days. So within seven days, you can access it if you search uh, the job ID uh, here. Okay, so this is the result page. This is an example of a cluster Omega result page. So you can see this is the job ID and there are like different uh, um, tabs for uh, results. This is something that we have recently added, uh, especially can be used for the training purposes where you wanted to uh, preserve the parameter uh, um, the values. So like suppose if you change the default parameters and uh, you wanted to run the analysis with a different uh, input sequence, uh, for example, in that case, you can um, click on the resubmission. So it will preserve the input uh, as such and you can just change the uh, sequence uh, and run your analysis again. Uh, <clears throat> so this is a result of uh, cluster omega, as I said. So this is the tool produced output uh, with the conserved regions and all. And uh, there is another uh, option available if you want to uh, see more colorful and uh, alignment, and which is provided by the Nightingale tool of Uniprot. Uh, if you want to change the color scheme to uh, like, you know, so to highlight the uh, aromatic amino acid or something like that, you, you have this color schemes available and uh, you can uh, select that accordingly. We also have like the phylogenetic tree for which we use the phylo phylotree.js uh, software. Uh, so uh, which is also there. And uh, there are other options also, which I will show you when I uh, um, uh, start the demo. Uh, okay, so just uh, let me go to the Job Dispatcher uh, website. So this is the website. So you can see these are the jobs that I have already uh, ran here. Um, so this is now just listing uh, all the jobs. So it's my 
recent jobs. Uh, I can see this one is uh, failed. I'll show you this, what, uh, how to find the error uh, details in a moment. Um, so let me just uh, show you an example uh, for Cluster Omega. Um, I'm using Cluster Omega because I will be showing the same uh, tool for the programmatic access. So you can see what Cluster Omega is. It's a uh, many of you know already it's a multiple sequence uh, alignment tool so i'm going with the protein sequence and i'm doing the using the example sequence here uh, again uh, these are the parameters this uh, tool has um, suppose if i wanted to change the order of the alignment so if i wanted this alignment to be a uh, the result of the uh, resultant alignment in the input order itself. So in this case, maybe it's the same, but if you have like the number of uh, several number of uh, sequences and you wanted to preserve the order of that input, you can change it into input and um, I'm just submitting it. So you can see there is a job ID and it's queued and running and you will be getting the result soon. Uh, once you click there, so this is the uh, actual alignment. And as I said, this is a nightingale view. Like uh, if you want to, you know, uh, um, um, know more about the aromatic or uh, uh, like, you know, different uh, color scheme positive or polar uh, uh, amino acids, uh, you can uh, explore that. Uh, there is sky tree and phylogenetic tree, as I mentioned before. And another feature is the uh, result viewers. So this is the workflow that I mentioned before. So if you wanted to um, pass this result, this multiple sequence alignment result to any other tool, say, for example, if I wanted to launch MView or like symbol phylogenetic from here, uh, uh, you, can, you can actually launch it. So suppose if I am sending this to MView, uh, I can I can run it directly. There is also an option available uh, where you can uh, launch a Jal view for this. Uh, you need to have the Jal view installed in your machine. I'll just show you how to uh, open it. So I have already got Jal view in my system. Um, let me just open it. Mm -hmm. So I just copied that URL from the Cluster Omega result page and I'm just pasting that uh, cluster alignment here. So you can see the alignment here. This is a third party uh, tool. So oh, we are not providing, I mean, uh, it's, it's not a job dispatcher tool. Uh, but again, uh, you can have like, you know, different uh, options here. If you wanted to perform a pairwise alignment from this multiple alignment, uh, there is uh, options uh, available. So, um, you know, it's more uh, useful in terms of like, you know, uh, how the sequences are like, like which are the regions between the um, multiple sequences are uh, conserved and, and all like in that cases, so you can actually uh, use this tool. and. Um, this result files, so all the result files which are produced by Cluster Omega will be there under this result files tab, uh, like the phylogenetic tree, the guide tree, and uh, the actual alignment, percentage identity metrics, and so on. If you want to download everything, there is a zip uh, option is also available, which you can, uh, uh, you know, which you can use uh, for like bulk uh, download. Uh, then the submission details, uh, which gives you which version of the tool it is and when did you start running it and uh, what are the parameters that you uh, used and the actual commands uh, that you used and everything. Um, okay, so that's uh, all about uh, how you can access uh, Cluster Omega uh, using uh, the web interface. Uh, now we'll see how you can access uh, these tools programmatically. So um, 
in this case what you are doing you are avoiding the overhead of this web browser and you are talking to the servers programmatically using a web service um if i can give you a real life example if you are in a hotel and you wanted to book a room service um you can either call to the front desk or you can actually book it uh, through an app so this is the same uh, way here you are not using a browser instead you are uh, you know um, communicating with the service uh, programmatically so in order to use this uh, use uh, i mean apply this uh, you know web service uh, you need to know uh, what the tool does and what are the parameters this tool has so for that we have a documentation available which is uh, here so this is our uh, documentation page i actually forgot to mention that here so if you go to the job dispatcher okay, like here there is a help and privacy uh, from here you can go to all of this are go to the documentation page so this is our uh, documentation page which gives you an overview of uh, you know our tools and uh, uh, everything how to use and everything so there is this programmatic access and faqs are also available so in under this programmatic access there is this open api so that is what it is um so now i am uh, showing a cluster omega as an example so just uh, click on the cluster omega so since i am using it for the first time i don't know like what are the parameters uh, it has you have already uh, seen that uh, from here uh, but you know for a new user you won't be able to know what it is so just uh, try to uh, figure it out so this is the end point which gives you the list of uh, parameter this cluster omega supports uh, or else this is the curl command so if you uh, type this in a terminal if you type it here you can see the results here itself it's it's an xml uh, it's an it's an xml format so this is the same as this one so if i to be more clear if i go to this you can see that these are the these are the these are the uh, parameters uh, cluster omega has so we were talking about the order of uh, cluster omega before we have like aligned and input order right so if you wanted to know what values or uh, values these uh, parameter has again there is another endpoint to query that so okay so you need to provide the parameter name here so you can see this is the endpoint that gives you uh, the values the uh, input and aligned so these are the two values for this uh, parameter order similarly if you want to submit a job there is another endpoint so um, there are for submitting a job there are a few uh, required parameters so you should provide a valid email address so i'm just giving my email id here and i am selecting the protein s type as protein and let me just paste the sequence again um, i'm using the same example sequence here Okay. Now you got the job ID. Now we can see the status of the job. If you wanted to check whether this job is finished or whether it has any errors or anything, you can just uh, try this endpoint. So this is finished. So this is the endpoint which gives you whether this job is uh, finished or not. So if you change this uh, job ID to some NCBI job, uh, you will be getting the status of NCBI uh, 
status of that in in CDI job, but make sure that you have to change this also. Here it is cluster O, so it should be in CDI last. Um, then if you want to know what are the result types this tool has, uh, you can uh, provide that also. You can get it get that also from here. So for that, uh, it will ask for the job ID. So for which job ID you need the result file. So for this job ID, these are the results files. So you know this uh, um, alignment files are there. Uh, the tool output is there. Then uh, phylogenetic tree. Uh, then uh, uh, zip file and uh, submission details, uh, uh, percentage identity metrics. So these are the files the, that this uh, job has got. So if I wanted to get only the alignment, uh, again, there is another endpoint uh, to get the that particular result. So you need to provide the result type here and then the job ID also. So I'm just copying the job ID. So I wanted to get the uh, alignment for this particular job ID. So you will be getting just the alignment file. Okay, so you, you can actually incorporate these uh, REST calls to your programs and uh, um, you know start writing or integrating uh, uh, this to your code or you know you can create your own workflows uh, suppose if you wanted to download um, a few sequences from say uniprot or pdbe um, so they also have like these uh, web services so you can uh, do the bulk download and on each sequence, if you wanted to perform a similarity search, you can actually uh, try using that uh, uh, by um, adding these endpoints to your script. Suppose uh, if you are not so familiar with uh, scripting uh, language and uh, uh, you are not comfortable um, writing any code, uh, don't worry, we also have uh, some uh, example clients available. Uh, which is uh, there in our Git repository, um, uh, which I will show you now. Before that, uh, for our programmatic uh, users, we have a uh, you know limit uh, in order to keep a fair use policy for all our users. Uh, at a time, uh, the maximum limit for submitting the jobs are uh, thirty. So. Make sure that you should not exceed uh, more than 30 uh, at a time. You can uh, start submitting again uh, once it's the analysis finishes. Okay, so this is the Git repository. So here we have like um, sample clients in different uh, programming languages in Java, Perl, and Python. Uh, I will be showing uh, you an example for cluster Omega uh, using a Python client. So before that, uh, there are some instructions uh, written here. So uh, you can see for using a Perl client, you should have a Perl uh, version uh, 5.22.0 plus version. And you may need to have, or you may need to install these dependencies as well. So these are the commands. If you don't have, you can install it. Similarly, for Python client also, there are like uh, dependencies and uh, Python uh, 3.5 plus uh, version uh, should be there to run uh, the client. So let me just uh, show you how you can uh, use a, a Python web service client. So I'm using the same cluster uh, Omega one. So I'm downloading uh, this uh, clusterlo.py file using a wget command. Uh, if you are uh, using, uh, you know, if you are using uh, multiple uh, tools, uh, you can also clone this uh, repo uh, using the git clone. In this case, I'm showing only one example. So I'm just uh, uh, downloading uh, just a single file. So. I have uh, this 
cluster.py um, now uh, in order to see the help uh, for this uh, client uh, what i can do is uh, i can do minus minus help and once you do that you will get the help uh, information so here you can see it's a multiple sequence alignment uh, tool and these are the required uh, information. These are the required uh, parameters for this um, client. So you need to provide a valid email ID and sequence type and of course the sequence, sequences in this case. Uh, there are optional parameters, uh, like if you want to change the parameters, like if you wanted to change the order or if you wanted to change the uh, format, um, or, uh, you know, there are like the iterations and output format and like you can do that. Uh, now I am using a default uh, one. So I will show you how you can submit uh, the, submit a job uh, using uh, this client. So first uh, I need to provide the email ID. then the sequence type then the sequence i don't have any sequence uh, in my mission currently so what i will do is i'll just uh, copy these uh, ids so this will also work um, this is the susprot entry for uh, different uh, mm, protein sequences from different organisms um so one s t y p sequence type oh. oh yes i have not provided the sequence type here so yeah that, that is complaining because i didn't provide any valid value for this uh, sequence type i am providing protein now let's see Okay, so I get uh, the job ID. You can see it's running. Now it's finished and it has created the files here. So if you list uh, the files here, you can see uh, all the files that we saw there are downloaded here. Um, I'll just show you this one as an example. Um, so this is an alignment file. So this is a, a percentage identity matrix and phylogenetic tree. Uh, let me just show you. Suppose in case uh, I don't want to uh, get all these files here in that case you can use a, an option uh, async so which helps you to uh, query the uh, output asynchronously so if i do the same uh, here with this option okay you will be getting just the job ID. And in order to get the status of this uh, job, you again have to uh, use uh, another parameter, status, minus minus status, and then provide the job ID. So if you try this, you can see whether this job is finished or failed or um, with any error or anything. Um, okay, so this job is finished. If I wanted to get um, um, just a single file, so suppose here in this one, I, I'm just checking whether I have missed any other uh, commands. Yeah, that's it. So, okay, result types. Okay. Um, so if I wanted to uh, know what are the result types uh, this 
tool ha, um, cluster omega has so i can query that also um so in this case uh, what i will do i'll just uh, result type so if you come here you can see minus minus result types so i wanted to see the result types of uh, the job id uh, this one So you can see these are the result types uh, for that particular job ID. And if you wanted to get any specific, uh, you know, download, get that particular uh, job ID, again, there is another option, which is um, uh, minus minus old job, then output a format. So, uh, So you can see that also here. Old job, then uh, out format. So I'm just giving the output format uh, and for this job ID, this. Yeah, output format. So it has created only that file here. Yeah. So that's about uh, how you can use uh, Cluster Omega web service line. Similarly, we have like oh, you can you can uh, try exploring uh, other um, you know uh, tools also like from here, and you can go to the. Uh, git repo and download uh, the other uh, tool uh, web service clients also um, Perl and java options are also available okay so um, i would like to just mention a few minor things here sometimes uh, uh, you might get some errors uh, so in order to troubleshoot the error, like, so it's, it's something like this. So what you need to do, sometimes you have to go to the result files and there will be some tool error details. So uh, this is uh, this is Embo Secret, uh, which is a tool uh, where you can convert um, sequence, I mean, format. Uh, say, for example, if you're providing a SwissProt entry format and you wanted to convert it into FASTA, you can use this tool. Um, so in this tool, what the error is, sequence format embel is not supported for protein sequences. If you see here in the submission details, you can see that uh, I have provided uh, the S type as protein. So the embel is embel format is for nucleotide. So that's why it is throwing an error. So always uh, check the error details. And another one is for embossed needle. So this error is not so obvious uh, for you because uh, there is no much information you can get from the result files. Um, but if you open uh, the result, uh, the input sequences, you can see that I am trying to align these two sequences globally and this is like a very big sequence and this one is like apparently smaller than this one so if i use embossed needle again it will go out of memory and you won't be getting any results if you are looking for a local alignment because one sequence has like you know a very short length maybe if you are looking for a uh, local alignment you can use embossed structure uh, sorry embossed water uh, or, or if you are again uh, looking for uh, global alignment like emboss needle, you uh, can use emboss structure, which is uh, a bit more uh, compatible for uh, large sequences. So uh, try to identify the uh, error from the you know uh, error details or uh, 
read the description of the tool and um, see if the other tool can uh, satisfy the uh, your requirements. Um, so as I mentioned, um, um, we have the documentation uh, page here. Uh, we have added a few FAQs are also like uh, the color, what is the colored alignment and the consensus symbols mean. Um, so we will be adding uh, more into that. And if you would like to uh, cite us, uh, you can uh, cite us uh, using this. Uh, if you wanted to know more about uh, the tool, it, like, you know, if you wanted to go to the official uh, tools uh, site, there are, uh, in uh, like, uh, under each uh, uh, tools homepage, there is a link to Biodot tools. So you can go there uh, and um, uh, explore uh, the official website and uh, papers uh, from there. And uh, to contact us, uh, you can uh, contact us from the EBI support uh, form. So uh, you can go there or directly from this link, you will be there uh, under this uh, job dispatcher service topic. So uh, make sure that you provide the job ID and um, always check whether it's related to any file size problem uh, or anything and go through the message, error message. If you couldn't uh, find what the error is, uh, please contact us and we will be more than happy to help you out. Um, yeah, I think uh, that's it uh, for now. And do you have any questions? All right, so, so with that, I will now start reading the questions. Uh, so first one is, uh, I think you showed it on one of our slides that you have a documentation somewhere. Uh, but mm -hmm. the question yes. is, do we get a guide on each tool usage? Uh, no, we don't have. We usually had that uh, before, but now we don't have uh, any guide uh, particularly for that tool. But uh, in general, like it, it, it's available from the job dispatchers uh, documentation page, which is uh, this one. So this has covered like like how you can use programmatically and you know um, um, and also how to use uh, um, from like using the front end and everything and there are a few FAQs also um, there are few uh, tool related FAQs also provided here but um, we don't have any separate um, guide for each and every tool. We are planning uh, to write, uh, you know, um, train online content next year probably, uh, which will, um, you know, help you to understand more about the sequence alignment and where we can actually try to add a few um, uh, things about, uh, you know, tool specific uh, related uh, queries in there. All right. So next question is uh, cluster omega for global sequence alignment can it be performed well by web service or should it be done programmatically you can uh, do either ways but if you are like you know if you are having like repeated analysis if, if you wanted to perform like a uh, repeated analysis uh, it's better to go for uh, programmatic uh, run it like you know using a web service because uh, that is much more easier than opening different uh, browsers and you know giving the input in there Thank you. What are the scalability limits for the job dispatcher for large data sets? Uh, unless you don't uh, really require, uh, you know, unless you don't uh, want to search against a large data set, we, I, we won't recommend, like, you know, if you're, uh, you know, if you're looking for a specific, um, um, similarly search again a specific database it's better to go for like smaller uh, database because it's more faster and now also you see like you know the bigger the size the slower the uh, analysis and uh, but again uh, if you are looking for a, like you know a larger data set yes it is possible yes all right so another question what are some common errors users encounter with the job dispatcher um so i mean i think i've already shown a few of them like it's mainly 
uh, about the file size sometimes um, it as uh, it could be related to the sequence length also sometimes uh, users provide like very large nucleotide sequences to cluster omega and uh, it uh, will go out of memory so in that case you need to try another tools like um, maybe k align but it has um, the file size limit uh, again lesser than uh, cluster omega which is 2 mb so in that case um, if you have like bigger length and uh, file size is less then go for k align so it's 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 a bit of tricky that's why uh, you can go to the tool category page and uh, see um, which tool uh, apps for your uh, input and there that is one and again um, sometimes it could be related to the selection of parameters but it is very rarely uh, as we have like uh, these uh, uh parameter validation in place uh, but yeah these are the ones that we frequently get so thanks a lot nanna for the webinar thanks for you for helping with the q and a and thanks everyone for joining in so do look at our upcoming webinars and 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 join it okay thank you bye bye thank you bye bye